Hello everyone, it is Skyler and today we are doing a little Q&A video. Uh, so I'm always doing like these Nymphit fashion related videos, so I thought maybe this time I'll do a more personal sort of video, sort of get to know me thing, so Q&As are good for that, so I figured let's do one, and I'm surprised people actually ask questions, so thank you for asking. I was originally planning on doing this more as like a frequently asked questions thing, because I keep on getting like a lot of the same questions, so I was like, okay, I'll just do a video like that, but I decided like last minute, okay, let's try to, let's see if someone will ask me a question, and people actually asked me things, so I was surprised, thank you. Now then, let's just get to the questions. I have like three tabs open with questions. Okay, so, when you changed your style and hairstyle to Nymphet fashion, what did your friends and people say? As for like my family, I remember I wore, like this one outfit, it was my Blunt Chance Collections two-piece, and my one family member was like, she was talking about how it reminded her of like, when she used to dress like that, you know? So, I guess some people uh, get sort of like a nostalgic feeling from it, so. Yeah, so next question, have you thought about cutting your hair or having short hair? Like, it's so cute. Hmm. So, I actually had, like, really short hair when I was in, like, fifth grade, and that was probably one of the biggest mistakes I have ever made. My hair's sort of, like, wavy and curly and stuff, so I have, like, a, like some volume down here, but not as much up here, so when I cut it, I get, like, all this volume up here, and then I look like Dora the Explorer, and it's, it's not cute. There are definitely some people who look cute with short hair, but I'm not one of them, and, uh, yeah. That's a mistake I will never make again. <laughs> okay. What's your go-to nymphet look for winter or even summer? When it's winter, I'm all about, like, thick dresses, or at least relatively thick dresses, with, like, three pairs of tights. I don't know if I ever took, like, an outfit photo of me wearing anything like that, but, like, I think like long sleeve dress, like three pairs of like black or white tights, cute coat. That's probably what I do for the winter. And for summer, I really like crop tops and skirts. And uh, because of that, Bon Chance Collections is like amazing again because they have like these sets of like crop tops and skirts and they're all like pastel and really cute and girly. So yeah. Do you sometimes wear another style? I mean, when I'm going out to the dentist at like 8 a.m., I'll just look like I'm bumming it. Like, I'll look like a complete hobo. So, uh, yeah, hobo style sometimes. But, yeah, it's either I'm wearing more casual clothes for days like that, or, like, I'm full-on nymphet style. Yeah, I don't really think I would say I have another style. What are your favorite articles of nymphet clothing? Oh, uh, that's hard. Do you mean, like, something that I specifically own, or just, like, clothes in general? Because once again, like, crop tops and skirts. And if you're asking for something that I own, my Bone Chance Collection uh, crop top and skirt set. Yeah, it's, it's too cute. I love it. How old are you? I am 22. I am sort of old. <laughs> and how do you use Nymphet fashion in the winter? So, like, if I was going to expand off of my last answer, I would say, once again, thick dress, many pairs of tights. Because I would wear, like, a long sleeve dress, uh, it would be really easy to, like, even put more layers under the dress, just so you're that much warmer, but still cute. I feel like getting a cute, thick coat is also important, because if you get a good coat, then you're able to wear basically, like, whatever you want, and then you can just take it off when you're inside. Because there are some things I'll wear that looks like I should only be wearing in, like, the spring or something, but, like, because I have my thick coat, it's completely fine for me to wear it, because when you're inside, you'll be completely warm and fine, so. Yeah. That's what I do. When did you get into the Nymphet style? Oh, that's hard. Uh, oh, should I talk about like how I got into it then? Cause I guess that's basically also the question. God, let me take a sip of tea before I get into this. Okay, so I think it was around my freshman year of college and you know, I'm doing like back to school shopping and I noticed this like, this top, maybe I'll put pictures on the side of me or something. And it really reminded me of Lolita, which I was surprised that I actually even liked this top because I remember when I first watched Lolita, I completely hated her clothes and the whole aesthetic thing. Um, that was when I was more so into like Japanese fashion and I was like, or at least Japanese Lolita fashion, I was really interested into that. But like, 
Japanese Lolita fashion and Nymphid fashion is really, really different, and I just wasn't feeling it when I first watched it. But, like, I seen this, the shirt, and I was like, oh, sh that's actually cute. So I got that, and, like, that was, uh, I don't know, that was, like, my first attempt with putting together, like, a Nymphid-looking outfit. And you can totally tell by, like, my selfies that I was completely going for that sort of look. But after that, like, I was pretty satisfied with my one Nymphite outfit, so I sort of stopped there. Then, later on, I think... what happened? Oh, no, I know what happened. So, also during my freshman year of college, I participated in, like, this Japanese maid cafe, and I feel like I reached the highest levels of, like, cuteness, and I feel like after that, my aesthetic sort of changed. Like, I was a really, like rainbow hot pink not hot pink but like very bright pink sort of person but after that uh it was just i don't know i feel like it was so cute to the point where i got diabetes so i came down i came down a few notches and i started liking like more faded out colors more calm colors so you know that changed about me just like what i liked in general and then later on from that i seen that this one japanese idol who uh, I really like Asuka Saito. She like modeled for Larm, as in the Japanese magazine. And I remember thinking how it looks so inspired off of Lolita, but I was like, there's no way that this Japanese magazine is going to take inspiration from something like Lolita. But you know, I started look looking more into the magazine, and I'm I'm realizing that holy sh**, they are actually taking inspiration from the movie. So, I don't know, it was really interesting to me. I was so surprised because like usually the western like J fashion community, if they see anyone pair up J fashion with uh, the movie or novel Lolita, they'll like want your f***ing head. But when this magazine did it, it was like, I don't know, I was just so surprised. So I got like really into it after that and I was like, yeah, I think I found like this is my style, this is what I really like. So. Yeah, that's how I got into it. <laughs> Was that a long answer? Probably. Look at my tea. Or look at my mug. See, it says meow. And then, can I be careful with this? There's like a little cat inside. Oh, I'm gonna spill shit. No, I'm not gonna spill it. Look, he's peeking out. <laughs> oh. Okay, next question. What is your favorite city in Japan? I don't know about like city, but if you mean like area or district, Probably Harajuku. Yeah, the big fashion place. And I'm actually, is this like a big announcement sort of section? I'm actually going to be going to Japan like really soon. Like I'm leaving at the end of, what is it? At the end of March? Yeah, and I'll be there for like a whole semester. So like six months. So I'm going to study abroad and before my classes begin, I'm actually going to be staying in Tokyo for a week. So I'll be at, at what? <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm gonna be staying in Tokyo for a week and I'll be able to go to Harajuku and it'll be amazing And I hope I find cute clothes. I need more clothes. I don't really need more clothes, but I want more clothes Would you ever visit Los Angeles? Yeah, definitely. I would love to go there. I feel like California would be my second favorite state in America and New York would be my first because there's always something going on there. But they have Little Tokyo. Is that in Los Angeles? I don't know. But they have Little Tokyo somewhere there, so. That would be really cool. Okay, next questions. Why Nymphette and not street or gloss style? Uh, the last time I was into like blacker styles was when I was in middle school and that was like the whole edgy sort of era. Yeah, that was a mess, <laughs> no. I, I don't think I'll ever go back to that weird period of my life. Don't you think it's too much pink? There's never such a thing as too much pink, as long as it's in my favorite shade of pink. Bubblegum pink is like obnoxious to me now, but if it's like a calm pink, that's my shit. Will you do dance covers again? No. <laughs> no, there's like no place for dance covers on YouTube. At least if you want to be serious about YouTube and actually try to make some sort of money off of them, like, I did dance covers, and I would get strikes on my channel, and that was, like, the worst period of my life on YouTube, and, uh, yeah. That's why I stopped doing dance covers. I, I was so tired with dealing with strikes and being copyrighted, so. Yeah, it just became not fun anymore. <laughs> what is your goal with the channel? Is there an opportunity you dream about? That's a good question. What's my goal with this channel? 
I feel like when I first uploaded my like first little nymphette video, I was very inspired by Larm and sort of going for like promoting nymphette fashion strictly as a fashion, uh, no kinks involved with it, you know? Just to show that like, I don't know. There is not only one way to go with the fashion. You don't have to be into like DDLG. You don't have to like older men. You don't have to have some daddy fetish or whatever. So I guess my goal with the channel is to show that yes, it is okay to like these clothes. That doesn't mean you have any sort of kink. You just like a particular style that's inspired from a movie and it's okay. <laughs> Next question. What is your favorite version of Lolita? Why? How do you f or how would you feel about them making another? Okay, so my favorite version of Lolita is 100% the 1997 version. The 19... what what year is it? 1962 or 64? That version is completely sh** because it doesn't follow... or it's, it's really unfaithful to the novel and I see no point in me watching it if it's that unfaithful to the novel. It's like... and also I think the director or whoever actually decided to make the movie in black and white, like... It's so ugly. When movies are in black and white, I have like zero interest in wanting to watch them. It's just so boring. I feel like I'd be bored out of my mind. So I'd be watching this movie that's like really ugly and then it's not even faithful to the novel. So like, why would I do that? So yeah, I don't like that version of the movie. <laughs> How would you feel about them making another? The 1997 movie was really good, but at the same time, there are some things that I don't understand why they wouldn't put in the movie. And after reading the book, I don't... Like, I feel like the 1997 movie, it does a really good job at getting people to sympathize with Humbert Humbert. And although I feel like that's Humbert Humbert's school in the novel itself, getting people to like sort of side with him, the 1997 movie does that too much because there are times, well, there are many times in the book where it's like, you know, it just makes you feel so uncomfortable and you really see like more about what a monster Humbert Humbert is, but you don't really get that in the 1997 movie. So it would be really nice if they like completely remade it or not completely, because I'll say it, it was a really good movie, but if they remade it, um, they added in more things, maybe took some things out. I think that would be really good. Although, I don't know. It's hard to make a movie like Lolita. Cause you need, also I'll say about the 1997 movie. After reading the book, I can't see Dominic Swain or however you pronounce her last name as Lolita. Cause although I feel like her acting was absolutely perfect, the way they styled her, everything like that was amazing, but it takes away from the whole feeling if you don't get someone that look, literally looks 12 years old. You know what I mean? Because in the, in the 1997 movie, they made her be 14, which is still young, but at the same time, like, I feel like that's that age where a lot of girls who are that age can look between, like, 14 to 25, and it's like, it takes away from the feeling. But a 12-year-old looks like a 12-year-old, like, there's no bullshitting what a 12 year old looks like. And I don't know, if, I think if you see that mixture of like, now I feel like uh, Jeremy Irons was perfect. I would definitely cast him as Humbert Humbert again, but like it wouldn't be easy to find someone to play Lolita. You would have to get like a literal 12 year old and they can't do that. I don't want them to do that. That would be insane. But you know, I guess my suggestion is to just read the book because that's how you get that full-on feeling, although it's an extremely hard read. Yeah. Okay, last question is a question that I get a lot, or at least questions like it. Am I into DDLG or older men or daddy, whatever? Can you tell that I'm just not? <laughs> I don't think that I'm submissive enough to be into that. I'm not into DDLG because DDLG is basically roleplay and I'm not into roleplay either. And people are like, no, it's not roleplay. I'm, I just really like childish things. And it's like, I get that. I think that a lot of people are like that, but like, let's be real. The whole little space thing is your time to role play. <laughs> like you don't act like a literal three year old 24 seven, cause you can't, it's not practical. I'm not into the whole acting thing. When it comes to older men, I like to be, when it comes to relationships, I like to be real careful with who I date because I like to do my best to 
not hurt myself. Like, I wouldn't date people who have cheated before, or I wouldn't date people who have abused a partner or abused anyone, period, before. And I would also put, like, older men into that category of people I wouldn't date because- or at least, I, at least people I probably wouldn't date because I feel like if you're dating someone mainly because, like, they're older or you're, they're younger, you're going to be sort of stereotyping them in a way where it's like, okay, I expect you to behave this way because you're this old. I feel like it's just not looking into people's personality enough, and I don't want my relationships to be based off of all looks and, like, sexual things. Also, I get a lot of, like, these daddies, uh, coming at me on Tumblr, and, you know, their usernames are always, like, strict and strong daddy, and I'm like, if you have to say that you're strict and strong, you're probably just a little bitch and I can probably push you down. Yeah, not into it. So I guess that is it. I think I answered all the questions and I added in my daddy question. So if you liked this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!